गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई ब्लॉग विद अनदर वीडियो येस दिस इज बेसिकली अ स्मॉल डी आई वाई प्रोसेस फॉर यू टू एक्चुअली क्लीन योर हेलमेट्स इट इज़ वेरी कंपल्सरी फॉर यू टू क्लीन योर हेलमेट बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज यू गेट एन ओडर फ्रॉम योर ऑयल इफ यू यूज टू वेरिंग जेल लाइक मी देर इज दर्ज लॉट ऑफ ऑर्डर दैट विल बी ऑन द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चनिंग और द पैडिंग ऑफ द हेलमेट सो येस देर आर डिफरेंट वेरियस ऑप्शन दैट यू कूड हैव टू एक्चुअली गो हेड एंड यू नो एलिमिनेट दोज लाइक आई वेयर अ बलक लावा ऑन माई हेड बिफोर आई एक्चुअली गो हेड एंड वेयर माई हेलमेट और यू ऑल्सो गेट दी स्मॉल हेलमेट कैप्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट विच आर एक्चुअली मच बेटर फॉर यू नॉट टू एक्चुअली लीव दैट हेयर और नॉट लीव दैट ऑयलीनेस ऑन द हेलमेट सो येस लेट्स गो हेड एंड आई गोन डू टू हेलमेट्स यू कैन सी दैट दैट्स वन रॉयल एंड फील्ड हेलमेट दैट दैट्स अ हाफ फेस हेलमेट एंड वन इज माई स्टील बर्ड सो वॉट ऑल यू नीड एक्चुअली टू गो हेड एंड गेट दिस डन इज वट आई गो टेल यू एंड हाउ यू डू इट इज वट आई गो टेल यू सो येस ऑफकोर्स आई हैव दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्रोडक्ट इट्स पुतोलिन ओके यू ऑल्सो हैव वेरियस प्रोडक्ट्स इन द मार्केट दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली मोटुल हैज वन एज वेल विच यू कैन गो हेड एंड यूज टू एक्चुअली सैनिटाइज योर हेलमेट नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली बाई पुतोलिन इट्स बेसिकली हेलमेट सैनिटाइज इट सेज अल्टीमेट हेलमेट एंड वाइस अ क्लीनर दिस इज फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल एंड आई गॉट दिस फॉर फाइव फोर्टी नाइन रुपीज बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ यू आस्क मी द प्राइस लेटर ऑन सो इट्स फॉर फाइव फोर्टी नाइन इट्स एन एन इम्पोर्टेड प्रोडक्ट सो इट इज एन प्रोडक्ट बाय फ्रॉम नेदरलैंड एंड इट्स बीन इम्पोर्टेड सो दिस इज अ स्मॉल व्यू ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट यू कैन सी सो येस सो दैट्स द प्रोडक्ट सो यू नीड वन ऑफ दीज ऑफकोर्स एंड यू नीड a very clean uh, microfiber cloth so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and clean one of or both the helmets and show you how we do it so let's go ahead and actually do this uh, diy process of cleaning the helmet of course i have got the can right here and we're going to start off with the um, half face helmet so i'm going to show you exactly how we do it uh, now you can do it on you need to do it on both the sides at the inner and the outer You can see the helmet at the moment. Uh, it's all got a dull vision on the visor as well. We're going to clear that off and show you exactly what the product is, uh, how it looks afterwards. So let's go ahead and uh, do the inner side first. Okay, show show you exactly how this inner side is done. So what you just need to do is give this can a little shake. Okay, make sure it is uh, you know there for you, and then just go ahead and spray. So this is exactly how it is. You can see it right here. Make sure you get all the angles. So you'll see it right here. It's kind of a foamy kind of a soap, uh, you know, uh, substance that is in your helmet at the moment, and it also got a nice. citrusy uh, flavor aroma to it not a flavor i have not tasted it it's uh, aroma uh, that you have okay and it it looks nice so let it uh, settle there for one or two minutes and what you need to do is then with the microfiber cloth as i said just take the microfiber cloth and wipe it give it a little scrub so what you can do is just go ahead and do that right here Yes, you cannot use the helmet for a day or two because it depends. Also, being uh, the monsoon seasons right now, uh, it will need time for it to actually dry because it's a little wet at the moment. What I'm also going to do you uh, do and show you is uh, in case you do not have a helmet that you know the padding's come off or you don't want to take the padding, this is one uh, way you can actually go ahead and do it. But in case you want to remove the padding, I'll show that to you as well how you can go ahead and remove the padding. You see it right now; it's actually cleared, and yes, that's uh, the only thing that you need to do. Give it a little scrub with the microfiber cloth, and it all evaporates as well. So, if you smell the helmet, it smells very nice. It's not like that uh, previous smell of you know your oil or your hair. There's no such odor at the moment, and it's all clean and clear now. So now, what I'm going to show you is how we can, how you remove the liner as well. You can actually remove the liner. What I do is my personal advice to you is do not remove the liner every time. Okay, uh, why I'll tell you that do it once a month because you need to actually thorough clean it as well once a month. So what I do is I actually remove the liner right here. So this is how the liners come out. The entire thing comes out from here. So you can see it right here. So the entire velcro is coming off, and yes, uh, you can remove this off. 
Now what you need to do is, uh, do not put it in the washing machine, you don't need to actually put it in the washing machine to actually wash uh, the inner uh, liners of the helmet. What you can do is, now take this part, okay, now you can dip it in um, hot water, just take a hot soapy uh, solution of water, dip this uh, for at least 5 to 10 minutes, take a small brush, the cloth, clothes brush that you know, actually uh, used to scrub uh, initially earlier, take it, put it in the soapy water, let it soak completely and just scrub it and then you can hang these to dry i would say don't put it in the washing machine is because all this also you know it actually goes ahead and uh, gets damaged so it is the best way is doing it by hand and it's and it's 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 easy it's not difficult to do you know so that's how easy it is to actually remove the, the uh, paddings as well so let's go ahead and put this back make sure i get it right so this buckle has to come through this and here you go so there is a clip over here just make sure that the clips are right there thorough and they hold on to it so that's how the helmet is make sure the liners are proper inside of course it's a little damp inside you can feel it right now as well i can feel it is really damp so you need to actually give it for under the fan so that it actually goes ahead and uh, you know uh, dries itself do not i would advise you not using it because then you would want to ca catch a cold because the helmet is actually wet from inside so now it's time to go ahead and clean it from the outer side the same way of course you need to do it uh, the same way so take the can right there give it a shake spray it right all over and then give it a wipe so let's go ahead and give it a wipe now what you can also do is in case you want to give it a thorough wipe and you know once a month as i said remove the visor from the bracket and actually give it a wipe from there as well i did it uh, last week so i don't want to actually remove the visor once again but you can see it right here i'll show it to you can also do is actually move the cloth from this side to there so that you have a proper wipe of where you cannot reach the areas that you cannot reach and you can see it's right ready so the helmet looks clean, the vice is clear and of course right here so you need to make sure that it's, and you take you take another visor, I mean sorry not visor, take a fi microfiber cloth that's actually dry and wipe it off uh, then the visor would be uh, cleared. But this is how uh, the half helmet is cleaned and that's basically the same step that you would need to follow on um, the uh, steel bar helmet as well. So let's go ahead and do that on a quick. Uh, way and follow the same processes so i've not used this helmet uh, for a long time so it smells of uh, hair it smells of mold it smells of uh, you know a helmet not been used for a long long time of course you know if you've kept your helmet on the cupboard or stored you'll have a moldy uh, kind of a feeling inside you can see all that of course there's a lot of thor and harley's hair at the moment as well so let's go ahead and clean this stuff as well so again let's do it from the inner side first of course over here as well smk also has the paddings come off completely so i do that as i said every once a month so this is again let's do it fast process that is now that's cleaning it again so that is uh, easy that is just diy for both the helmets it's the same process you don't need to do anything different 
make sure that it is uh, stays there for at least uh, two to three minutes uh, not two to three minutes at least one minute so that you know that foam and everything uh, settles down and actually uh, you know helps you actually clean the helmet it's not just uh, put it up and just clean it so that is uh, how the inner side is clean now if you see wow it smells very nice of course try and get all the areas as well that you think are a little moldy and you've got those uh, mold kind of a situation so right there one more time last final scrub of course getting it done from outside as well right here give it a scrub try and get uh, you know to the areas where you would not think of actually doing it because these are the areas which are more uh, prone to dust accumulating so right here so that's easy that's basically how you actually go ahead and uh, do a small cleaning for your helmets and make sure that they are clean for you to use on the next ride so that was a small diy pro project that we had of actually cleaning both the helmets of course you can see that the helmets are beautiful and they have a very good uh, essence at the moment so yes guys i leave the link of uh, the product information uh, in the description and where you can get them as well so this is mumbai car boy saying thank you so much for watching this uh, video if you like it please go ahead and hit the like button uh, subscribe for those who guys who have not subscribed and if there's any comments leave them below and be happy to answer them it actually gives me a uh, pleasure that when you you know go ahead and leave those comments because that's how it will help the video grow as well well this is mumbai car voicing thank you and see you on the next video